Hi there, it's Justin here from sharepickers.com and today I'm going to run through another cracking little resource on the ADVFN website which is price alerts. Uh, there are different kinds of alerts you can get. You can get news alerts, price alerts. I'll do news alerts later, but this is price alerts. This is very handy when you're watching a company and you know you should always watch a company for a while so you can read stuff about it and then you should try and buy. You know, my philosophy is very simple. Buy a good company at a good price. So recently I've been watching a company called Globo uh, ticket code GBO. Uh, they're in the software space for m mobile devices, and uh, you know they're good fundamentals. So let's let's say I've been looking at the fundamentals of this company, and I really like it. So here we go. Uh, last you know four years turnover, uh, thirty million there, forty five million. Look at that fifty percent increase again. Higher fifty eight million and seventy one, and the profit on the the profit there is um, thirty eight percent. So, you know, it's, it's good going. And I mean, look at the chart on this. So I've got the chart here on ADVFN. And as you can see, it's a bit of a downtrend. This is the 200-day moving average. So the price is below that. It's dipped below that. This is a one-year chart on a daily basis. Uh, so we've got six months. So each one of these candlesticks represent one day. So I'm on a six-month there. I go to two years on the chart. Uh, you see they peaked there at around about uh, 88 pence. Back in October 2013, they've grinded down a little bit here. A little bit of support here on about the 60 pence level. Popped up once, twice, and then broke down below the 200. They had a bit of support at the 200 moving average here. But they broke down below that. And they've, they've you know, hit it with their head twice, resistance level there, and ground down again. And then, all of a sudden here, let's zoom in, they've managed to break up above the 200 days. As you can see, a bit of resistance there. They tried once there, tried second time there, came back down, and all of a sudden they popped above there, had a look around, uh, didn't quite make it, struggled a bit, came back down, then all of a sudden, look at this bull, this is a very bullish day, huge white candle, a little bit of a wick on top there, but just, you know, broke through it, but you can see, even before this happened, uh, the 20-day moving average was crossing the 50-day moving average, which is a good sign, it's a good sign of an uptrend there. And if you scroll down, you can see uh, the relative strength. If I just grab this and make it higher there. Relative strength has been growing from around about 40. Once she crosses the 50 line, that's quite a good uh, sign of strength, of uh, momentum in the share price there. So it's gone up there. Bottomed here, gone up, pierced the 70-day moving average. Uh, above sort of 80s, sort of overbought. But don't rely on that. You need other factors as well. But look down here at the, the moving average convergence, divergence as well. It's come from below zero. It's converged here. And then popped above zero. Pulled back a little bit. Then it's back above uh, the zero point here. It's, it's a good level. Do you know what? I always look at the moving average convergence, divergence on a, on a, on a weekly uh, chart to make a, to get a, you know, exa an example of a stronger trend. And you can see, let me zoom out a little bit to two years so we can get a, a pers you know, some bit of a perspective. Move this down, the right of strength. And you can see, you know, uh, the moving average convergence divisions has been positive pretty much, you know, for most of this uh, year in April 2013. And then in the, in the 2014 here, it came down below, which is quite neg negative. And it means a bit of a weak share price. And that's obviously the share price has been grinding down. And all of a sudden, it sort of converged here and it started to make an uptrend. Now, it's good when the red line here starts to go across the zero, starting to go to positive territory. And hence, you've got the big uplift in the share price there. And so you can see a really bullish candle there. So it's a nice movement upwards. You can see there on the, on the, on the weekly chart, obviously, they, they recalibrate the moving averages on a weekly. And it did touch the 200 moving average and pop back up. So it looks like it's heading towards, you know, a stronger run here. And like I said, the, 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 the strongest signal, if you've seen me looking at charts on videos before, the strongest signal, essentially, of a company going from a downtrend into an uptrend is what's called a golden cross. Now, this is when the 50-day moving average, which is here, crosses the 200-day moving average. Hasn't quite happened. The 20-day moving average is, is, is crossing it but not the 50. So it may be a little bit of pullback here because there's quite a bit of upside in the last few days. And like I said, the relative strength is getting a little bit overcooked. Um, like I said, it's, it's at about... Uh, where is it? By? Let's, let's move this up. Grab this up. Yes, it's at about sort of uh, 75 here. So above 70, you can start saying it's getting a little overcooked. Over 80, definitely is. So it could have a pullback. 
So it's it's a good company to watch. I don't want to really get in yet because there's been a lot of price strength. And so what I want to do is watch the price for a bit. So I think if I believe, if you believe a share price is going to pull back a bit, but the company is good, so you want to buy you know, a good company at a good price, uh, then the good thing to do is put an alert on it, a price alert. And that way you'll be alerted when the price hits certain parameters. Now, how to set this up is essentially go to the ADVFN website, obviously, uh, click on alerts. And you have a choice here, three options. Uh, price alerts, which I want. You can also set news alerts, so any news uh, the company releases, you'll be alerted. And forum alerts. And you can be alerted uh, via email or actually on the website itself. And I choose to be, um, with news alerts, I choose to get emails because if they are uh, in a, a regulatory news alert released by the company, I want to know about it. But with price alerts, um, I don't because I'm watching about... 200 companies so I don't want to get emails every day and this is already uh, this is the alert system the price alert system as you see the symbols here uh, the parameters are there commands there and the prices are there so let's say I want to set something for Globo have I done it already um, let's just check down here oh, I have I put one in already let's just take those two out as you can see there's some alerts there that's uh, on uh, FXI uh, on Hargreaves Lansdowne that's the, the current price is greater than 11 pounds but let's go up there and just take these out, delete these two, and add them. Uh, so there we are, take those out. Now, you can set up alerts for anything on this page, pretty much. There's so many uh, parameters. So let's click two there, because I want to set a high and a low price alert. You can do it with one. You can. I'll show you how. But I like to do two, because I'm a bit of an idiot. So GBO, tick code, select. GBO, tick code, select. Now, parameters, select. Change, you can do uh, change price, percentage change, current price, bid price, offer price, it's, it's, it's a, a myriad, volume even, uh, buy volume, sell volume, there's so many uh, parameters you can set up here, trade price, uh, yes there's bid close, unknown, sell percentage volume, I do have a few of those on as well, but what we're doing here is, is a price alert, so I like to have current price, select for both upper and lower parameters, then go to command. So you can do less than, less than, equal to, uh, trailing percentage fall, drops by, rises by. There's all different sets of commands you can select. So for the first one, I like to go less than or equal to. And for the other one, greater than or equal to. And so let's go back to the chart and see where I want to set one for. Let's go to zoom into three months and scroll across. So let's say 50. And I, I like to do, if I'm not quite sure, if I can't see support levels or resistance levels, I like to put 5% either way, pretty much, depending on the size of the company. Of course, with smaller companies, they're a bit more volatile, so maybe 10%. But um, here, I'm going to put one in 50 pence. Nice round figure. Always a good support level. So let's go back to alerts. Uh, so alert me when the price goes to 50 pence, less, or, less than or equal to 50 pence. And let's have a look here. Let's, let's go. Um, there's a bit of a wick here. That's 54. Let's zoom out to about six months to see if there's any sort of, um, so, re, you know, re resistance levels here. So um, let's just drag this across. That's there. Ah, there we are. There's a nice little um, peak here. So that's 55 pretty much. Can you see? Let me, let me just zoom in. The one year low, six months level. And scroll across. As you can see, before that rallied off a drop down and didn't much get above that 55 level. That's 56 there. So let's say 56 to make it sure it's breaking into a new uh, uptrend. So I'm going to cut 56 here and then save. And that's added to my price alerts. Now, if, you, if I go back there, actually... Um, you can see you can add display only stock alert or so you can get so you send an email if you want uh, but I've just added but, but display only so scroll down and you've got uh, global added there less than two I've, I've added two again I'm not here but um, essentially that's what I'm done there they're in there so then whenever that happens I check these uh, on a weekly level really sometimes on a daily level see what prices are moving I don't adjust them every day though because I used to adjust them every day and if you get volatility in the market you know you get one price alert say you know alerting you to an upper end of your parameter the next day the market could fall and you could hit the lower end so I, I use I leave it to a week I do them once a week I clear all these alerts off and check the share prices against charts 
and I've got a lot of work to do, obviously, um, this week. And then I act upon them. If they've hit the, you know, a certain price where I think it's a good bargain or on a support level, I act upon them. Or if they're going to break through a resistance level, I maybe set a, a, you know, a stock order there. So it's very good to have price alerts. Don't forget, if you haven't set up an ADVFN account, you can do for free. Just click on the link below. And uh, you get more, obviously, functionality the more you pay. Uh, there are, though, discounts on subscription levels if you go through the links below. And I think it's 25% uh, off most, 50% 50, 50 off other, other subscriptions. But, you know, ADVFN is a website with a huge amount of resources. And if you want to be a successful investor, you know, you need to use it. Uh, there's a lot there to use. And like I said, I do uh, put up videos every now and again. And if you'd like to be on the email, please do uh, sign up at sharepickers.com. And I will send out an email once a week with a new resource on there. So it's quite handy to have. It doesn't cost you anything. And, of course, if you, if you get, if you get something on your nerves once a week, just unsubscribe. But uh, I'll send that out. I'll also send out updates on my stock of the week, uh, something I bought that week. So it's always handy to have. So that's how to set up price alerts on the ADVFN website. Hope that helped. If you'd like to get in contact, please do email me, podcast at advfn.com. Thanks for listening.